Hello, this is Jose here. I am again with my 2017 Mercedes S550 or W222. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about uh, coolant levels. I have a couple of subscribers ask me um, what the levels are and why is there two reservoirs. So they asked if I could do a video on this and here I am. Let's see if we can clarify some of those questions because in doing some research as well. I seen where uh, people are confused and why do we have two reservoirs? Do they mix? Do they work together? So I'm here to clarify that. Okay, so let's start by opening the hood because you know we have to get the the covers out. First is this middle cover, and then we'll take this cover out for the other reservoir. Okay, so we'll get a little close up and and so we can see a little better. So here we go, we remove the middle cover, and here's how we remove the second cover. It just has these little, these three little clips, you just have to pull them up, it's nothing difficult, okay, and if you don't know, you just have to turn them, okay, turn them and pull this back up. Put it aside, this is our coolant reservoir. This is the high temperature circuit. So we'll go through your radiator and all that. But it's the high temperature reservoir. This is the low temperature reservoir. So even though it says low temperature reservoir, it still gets hot. So when working in the engine, wait at least an hour before your engine cools down after you drove it uh, to check the levels is, uh, uh, you can check with your with your car cold and uh, where it was left overnight. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. I drove the car this morning, but this was like two hours ago. So I'm, I'm gonna open this. You shouldn't open it if you just drove the car. If you drove it, leave it alone, let it, let it cool off, okay? So let's see if we can get it close, a little closer. So as I mentioned before, this is low temperature reservoir the low temperature system reservoir okay so we need to know where the level is we need to know we have to fill it up but we need to add coolant in it right now i need to add some coolant i haven't done it in a while but see that little um piece there that piece of plastic that has like a little cross almost so this this piece right here the, the only piece you see in there from here that's the level that it should be flashed with that when the engine is cold if the temperature was warm you could uh uh expect a little more of it okay right now i'm a little low on coolant it's normal it's normal for the engine to burn some of the coolant but it's not normal that to see that you have to add coolant every day or every other day you shouldn't be adding coolant every other day on your car so we're gonna bring the level, the, the coolant up to level, okay? To make sure that you're not losing coolant with a leak somewhere. If you're in the middle of the summer, you can just add um, distilled water because that's the mix that you're supposed to have. So the pink stuff that you see in there is uh, the coolant that comes from the dealer, okay? And it comes in a pure form. You have to mix it with uh, distilled water. Don't do it with pure water. Because just water will water normally has minerals, it has a lot of stuff, has calcium, so you don't want that building up in your engine. So what you use is distilled water. You have to use distilled water. Okay, doesn't matter the brand, as long as it's distilled water. Now, if you suspect that you have a leak and you live in a place where there's no freezing temperatures, I'm in New Jersey, so I can't do that. I can't I can't put just distilled water in my engine in the winter because It'll freeze and it'll crack my engine. But if you're, if you're in a place where it doesn't freeze or you're in, in New Jersey and it's in the middle of the summer, you can just add water if you know you have a leak so that you know you have you have something in there to cool the engine until you get it fixed or you, you're taking it to a repair shop to get it done. So right now I need a little bit of, uh, of coolant. Okay, I have a premix. So I'm just gonna add a little bit just so I could get it up to level. Here we go. Okay, so 
Okay, so you see it now, it's flush with just a little over the, the, the little plastic piece that's in there. Okay, that's our level. You don't, you don't want to go too high. You don't want to go too high on that. Right now, my, my engine is a little warm. It's been a couple of hours, but the car is still warm. So I went past a little bit so that when the car cools off completely, it's going to go down a little more. I might have, I might have to feel a little more, maybe not. Maybe that's good enough, but that's our level, okay? And it's, as I said, two complete separate systems, all right? You are going to have to add coolant on the other reservoir as well. Here's another close-up for you. You see that little plastic piece that has like a, like a cross uh, form sideways that's your level that's where you should keep it okay remember if it's warm the car is warm that's gonna be up to a centimeter higher it's like like a quarter of an inch so um, if it's warm if it's cold it should be at right at that level don't worry if it's a little higher if it's a little lower you don't have to go too crazy with it okay as long as it's not too high it's not overfilling you'll be fine but this system is completely separate than the other system okay there are two separate systems so we're done with this one close it up make it nice and tight how you feel a little click so we go with the high temperature system okay this one is easy to know where your level is well you see on the outside this black part and you see this white part right so on the inside you see the same thing that black little piece there that you see below this the circle that's your level so you want to stay right between the white and the black where they meet on the inside you'll see it on the inside you can also see if you're too low you'll see it on the on the outside so this is your low level right here this is your low level okay you want you don't want to be lower than that you always want to keep it higher than these and this will be your max this is your minimum this is your maximum okay right here is your maximum and you'll see it on the inside also so I'm good there I'm perfectly level with that I don't have to add it I don't have to take anything out it's perfect okay and remember these are two separate systems don't think that you're gonna add coolant here it's gonna show up over here or you're gonna put coolant here and it's gonna show up over here no don't overfill either one they have two separate levels as they were two different liquids but they are the same same liquid also a good idea to clean this while you're here but don't do it with a cover off okay you want to take all this corrosion off don't do it with a cover off because you don't want any of that to go inside and you clean it a little bit the covers coming back and forth but you don't want that off you don't want any debris going inside okay don't get too complicated with this very simple two separate systems as they were two different liquids they are the same liquid they both take 50 50 mixture if you're using the dealer stuff uh, which and that I would recommend just use that liquid but um, they are two separate systems okay they cool down your your um, turbos this is cooling down your engine in this case this one looks much cleaner than this one so we wanted to do like a little flush just to clean up some of the, the bad one or if you want to do entire flush you have to be vacuum but to do a simple flush you could uh, take the plug off, it's on the bottom of the radiator, take the plug off, drain it from there, and then uh, fill it up, fill it up again, run your engine for a little bit, let it all circle, and do the same thing again. Flush the coolant out of the radiator plug, and uh, fill it up again. After you run it, you'll see how if it's cleaned again. If not, you can just keep doing that procedure until you get it all clean once it gets in there it gets all mixed up 
he go everything gets together the engine gets warm opens the thermostat and all that you could um, then mix all of your coolant on the engine and get it cleaned if you wanted to do a, a deeper clean like just the same way you could also just keep adding the still water in there and then you keep running the engine and filling up until you get just clear water coming out of it and then you do the same thing filling it up you fill it up and fill it up and run the engine and fill it up and run the engine until you get the pink fluid on okay so now we just put the covers up put everything back pretty simple just push those pins in push the cover in there the pin will go in That's it. And last one. Just lined up. And it's okay. That's it. That's it. Same with this. In place. And that's it we're all done checking the coolant levels i hope this video was helpful don't overthink it very easy very simple here we go that's what we got okay you could get it at the dealer you could get it at fcp europe that's where i get all my stuff Unless they don't have it, I go to the dealer, but most of my stuff comes from FCP Europe. And that's it. That's the show video on the on the corner levels. The antifreeze uh, is uh, simple, but uh, you have to keep an eye on it. You have to always keep an eye on your on your car or every liquid, uh, whether it's oil, antifreeze everything you anytime you move your car and you see any liquid on the floor just investigate see what it is so if you think you have a leak in the coolant system as i said you could ask the st add the still water if you don't have uh freezing temperatures okay like in new jersey you don't do that in the winter here in new jersey we could do it in the summer we could get away with doing that in the summer just until we can get it fixed okay don't leave it there don't don't drive the car normally with the distilled water just until you can get a fix if you're taking it to a shop fill it out with the distilled water but if it's in the summer don't get your um engine frozen with that liquid inside with that water because the water wants to expand it has it wants to go somewhere and it will crack your engine okay so be careful with that and they are two separate systems again don't expect that you're gonna fill up one side and it's gonna show up on the other. So it's two separate systems, fill them both up and you'll be fine. All right, see you on the next video.